violent standards, abuse criminology student, and I'm going to discuss you the two of the most historical parts of photography. The gray type and color type together with their process. The daguerreotype was first commercially successful photographic process and the first image that was fixed and did not fail. The process was developed by Louis Jacques Mande Daguerre in France. Louis Jacques Mande Daguerre is a Parisian painter and theater designer who contained the effort of Nips to perfect a photographic process in 1839. He was successful enough to have his invention purchased by the French government and made public, which is called the first practical photographic process is given to the world on August 19, 1839. The image is a direct positive made in the camera on a silver copper plate. It is called Sheffield plate. Plating diffusion are called roll cladding and was a standard hardware item produced by heating and rolling silver foil in a contact with the copper support. The very first daguerreotypes used is in Chevalier Lensen, that means is low, and the light sensitive materials was silver iodine made by fuming the plate with iodine vapor. The exposure to camera was too long to conveniently take portraits. Actually, it needed under 30 minutes light exposure. The first subjects taken were the street scenes and architectural studies. The image in the girl type is often described as being formed by the amalgam or alloy of mercury and silver because mercury vapor from a full of heated mercury is used to develop the plate. There comes the Becker process, which is using a red filter to and a half stop X exposure, but the girl type can be produced without mercury. Exposure times were later reduced by sensitizing the plate with the other silver halides, which is silver bromide and silver chloride and by replacing the Chevalier lenses, which must be larger, faster lenses designed by Joseph Fetzbar, a reduction in camera size, and the size of the image will always result in the more light reaching. The image plane and consequently reduce exposures, and a small matches camera that produced a small circular image was made by Boylander. When viewing the daguerreotype, a dark surface is reflected into the mirrored silver surface, and the reproduction of detail in sharp photograph is very good. This is the daguerreotype process with the actual presentation of Dr. Mike Robinson. Dr. Mike Robinson makes a portrait his own innovation of the techniques. The Zagara type is wrapped with a silver copper plate and takes a few minutes to produce a mirror-like surface. To place his place, place down an opposite field with iodine and bromine, which react to the silver to make the plate sensitive to light. After a few minutes, the plate is removed. And inspect 
with dust have flown away. A sensitized plate is placed into the holder of the camera. Setting up the camera for purple takes time. Working on a black cloth makes it easy to subjects with the lens of the focus the image. The system is remained completely steady while the daguerreotype is made or the image is blurred. Once the focus is set, hold the containing plate into the camera. Photograph is removing by the lens cap to get lighting. Exposure it takes 5 to 6 seconds and when the time is on, put back on the cap to stop the exposure. Plate and holder are take out into the camera. The image is still invisible or latent. To start developing process, bring out the image to plate. which is removing an other safe work box. To develop the plate is removed in the box, fixing the image with a salt but, and put distilled water to remove the thing solution. Next operation was to fix the photographic image permanently on the plate by dipping in a solution of hyposulfate of soda, often called fixer or hypo to dissolve the unexposed halides. Initially, the correct process was to use a saturated salt solution for this step, but later adopted Herschel's suggestion of sodium thiosulfate. The image produced by this method is extremely fragile and susceptible to damage when handled. Practically, all the girl types are protected from accidental damage by glass fronted exclusion. It was discovered by experiment that treating the plate with heated gold chloride both tones and strengthens the image, although it remains quite delicate and requires a sealed enclosure to protect against touch. This is the process of the girl type. The next one is calotype. It is also called talbotype. Calotype is early photographic technique invented by William Henry Fox Talbot of Great Britain in 1830s. William Henry Fox Talbot is an English scientist who in 1839 pointed out the basis of modern photography. Calotype is presented in 1840 by William Talbot. It is the first process to employ a negative to produce a positive image on a paper. The earlier the type process employed no negative. In this technique, a sheet of paper coated with silver chloride was exposed to the light in a camera obscura. Those areas hit by the light became dark in tone, yielding a negative image. The revolutionary aspect of the process lay in Salvo's discovery of a chemical which is gallic acid that could be used to develop the image on the pattern. Accelerate the silver chloride's chemical reaction to the light it had been exposed. The developing process permitted much shorter exposure times in the camera. Down from 1 hour to 1 minute. The developed image on the paper was fixed with sodium hyposulfate. The negative, as Talbot called it, could yield any number of positive images by simply contact printing upon another piece of sensitized paper. 
Talbot's process was superior in this respect to the Dudley type, which yielded a single positive image on metal that could not be duplicated. Calotype or Talbotype is a photographic process using paper coated with silver iodine. The term Calotype comes from the Greek word Kayo, which means beautiful, and Tusus for impression. Calotype is the beginning or also known as modern photography. It is because when William Henry Fox Talbot patents the color type process or the first negative positive process making possible the first multiple copies. That's the end of my discussion. Thank you.